The Last of Us is one of my favorite games of all time. The unique gameplay is a huge part of what makes this game great because, well, what's a game without its gameplay? But I would be lying if I said that the story wasn't a huge part of what made this game one of the greatest. The Last of Us is a post-apocalyptic story about how a teenager and her father figure survive in a very, very hostile world. When I break it down to such a simple summary like that, it sounds like it's been done a hundred times before, but that doesn't do The Last of Us any justice. The story and its characters are so complex and deep, you see all the different sides of all the characters through their emotional highs and lows. In fact, the game even makes you put down the controller and think about yourself as a person. Am I any better than the f***ed up people in this game? The darkness in the story is complemented by the severe violence and brutality in the gameplay. Watching Ellie die is genuinely heartbreaking and I've seen it a thousand times and every time it's really hard to watch. This is good, it makes me not want to die. Joel's a big man though, he could take it. Now I am going to spoil The Last of Us main game. If you haven't played it, you're dumb and you're stupid and I hate you, but you should stop watching. You have been warned and I'm giving you time to stop now. At the end of The Last of Us, when Joel realizes that Ellie basically has to sacrifice herself to let the Fireflies research her immunity, Joel freaks out, murders everybody, and steals Ellie back. And if you're wondering, I only killed one of the three doctors because he came at me with a scalpel. It's not their fault. They're just being doctors. A lot of people think it would have been morally right for Joel to let Ellie sacrifice herself because for all Joel knows, she could have cured the whole world. And it's a little selfish that Joel stole her back. However, the game doesn't let you choose. You have to murder everybody and steal Ellie back because you're not playing as you, you're playing as the character of Joel and this is what Joel's gonna do. Not many games force you to do something like this in the name of character development, but it also makes you put down the controller and think like, if you were in his position, would you have the balls to save somebody that you really care about? Would you even be willing to let her go? Is Joel even wrong here? Many people say that this is the perfect ending for the game and that the game doesn't need a sequel. I agree, but I also have a lot of faith in Naughty Dog because they've been on a roll. And that faith has been reaffirmed in a new DLC that just came out, Left Behind. Left Behind skips between two time periods. One during The Last of Us main game where Ellie's playing nurse to Joel after he suffered a Neil Fatal gut wound. And one even before Ellie met Joel while she's hanging out with her friend Riley. Now, this is DLC, so they couldn't really do anything too detrimental to the story, right? I mean, not everybody's going to play this game, but they did manage to work in a really heart-wrenching moment anyway. Warning! I'm going to spoil Left Behind- you, you know what I mean. There's a scene where Riley and Ellie go into a photo booth and they're just being kids and taking all sorts of silly pictures. After that's over, they kind of just stare at each other for a minute and I'm like, yo, wait, are they going to kiss? And then they don't. And I'm like, wow, they're just- Kids having fun. Maybe I have a sick mind for thinking they would even be romantically involved. And then they dance and kiss. I was playing this at like 3 in the morning and I got so excited. Nothing good ever happens in The Last of Us. I am a little f***ed up because after they kiss, Ellie says, So now what do we do? And the first thing that popped in my mind was, Well, they don't have internet, so maybe they don't know how this kind of sex works. Oh, wait. They're talking about the fireflies. Damn it. I wasn't shocked that the character of Ellie was gay. I mean... She could be bi, we don't know, and it doesn't even matter. This makes the emotional toll even greater when they both inevitably get bitten and only Riley dies. Like, can you even? The whole time during The Last of Us, we know that Joel suffered a great loss. Ellie says that she lost somebody too, and it's sad, but now it's even sadder. And this even brings more gravity to the attempted rape scene. The fact that Ellie and Riley are gay means virtually nothing other than it helped for the surprise. They aren't even the first gay characters in The Last of Us. Bill's gay, and that went right over my head the first time I played it. Naughty Dog's Neil Druckmann said there was a lot of internal conflict about how they should show Ellie and Riley's romantic involvement. They almost left the entire thing completely up to your imagination. I'm very happy that they didn't. I would have been dissecting the story for days trying to figure out their relationship. He says that the kiss, quote, takes the doubt away, and he's absolutely right. Naughty Dog had a particularly hard time defining Ellie's sexual orientation at all. And this makes sense because playing the main story, I really didn't even think about it. In the end, I'm very satisfied with what they did. I'll leave a link to the Kotaku article about it in the description. Also, I highly recommend the documentary about making The Last of Us called Grounded. At the time of this recording, it's free on Amazon, so you really have no excuse not to watch it. A while ago, Neil Druckmann said that the story between Joel and Ellie is over with The Last of Us. 
I don't know how I feel about that. I genuinely care about these characters. What they have now is perfect, but I want more perfect. I mean, not perfect, it's perfectly chaotic, I guess. What do you guys think? Did you like Left Behind? Did you like where the story went? Did you think this added to this Last of Us story? Do you think it took away from the Last of Us story? Which it definitely didn't. But if you think so, I would like to hear it. Leave it in the comments below. Like us on Facebook. Talk to us on our Facebook page. At me on Twitter. Like if you like. Subscribe if you really like. Thank you very much. Have a good week. Sonic is huge! And Knuckles, my god, are you alright? What happened to your Lego shoes? Ah, I'm dead. <laughs> well, alright, that's one life. You can't die. Well, I did, so. <laughs> do something about it. It hasn't even. The, the, the screen hasn't even changed yet. Oh, god, I'm. I'm oh, oh, damn it. Bob, the screen hasn't even <laughs> changed yet.